Okay, how's it going? Uh, making this tutorial today from the beautiful hills of Tahanga on my laptop, and this is in, this is going to deal with the problem I've been having uh, with my film students at uh, IAFT. Uh, it's an issue with stereo files coming into Premiere. Sometimes there's uh, two people talking and they record one person on track one and the other person on track two and when you bring it into Premiere one is pan to the left and the other one is pan to the right uh, and there it's impossible to get the, the dialogue coming up the middle for both people speaking so I finally figured it out here we go it, it's all in the preferences go to audio See, normally uh, it starts off, it kind of defaults here, use file for mono media, stereo media 5.1 and multi-channel mono. And I've also unchecked the some multi-channel outputs to mono in the source monitor. Uh, leave that unchecked. But this is how it comes normally, and, and most people don't think about coming in to even look at that stuff. But uh, today we are. So let me just show you what happens naturally. I import a, a stereo wave file. You can see on, on channel one, I just said one. Channel two, I said two. Just kind of went back and forth to get that stereo effect. You're not going to hear the stereo effect here on this tutorial because I'm doing it from my laptop and just using the simple little microphone in the laptop. But what happens, let me show you. You drag this into your timeline, and if you play this, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You, you can one, see him bouncing two, back and forth. One, two, one, one. Yeah, they, they bounce back and forth between the left channel and the right channel. Okay, now, normally when you drag something into a sequence and you start your sequence, it starts you off with A1, 2, and 3. If you come up here to the audio track mixer, you can see that these are all stereo channels. One, two, three of them. Uh, so right now, what I want you to do is delete audio tracks two and three. Just come over here to the <clears throat> timeline. Um, right click, I guess. I, I'm doing that uh, two finger thing on uh, the laptop. But you can just delete the tracks that way. I'm going to delete track two. And I'm going to delete track. And there, notice there's a difference between delete track and delete tracks. This is a different thing. We'll get into that maybe later. <clears throat> okay, so right now all we have are video channels and one st stereo channel here. You can tell it's stereo because it's got two little yellow lines as opposed to one. We're going to create, actually, now uh, two mono channels. I'm going to right-click or double-finger click in here and add tracks. It brings up this dialog. We want zero video tracks. We actually want two audio tracks. Now, before you hit OK, what kind of tracks are you talking about? Standard? There is no standard track. Uh, we're going to pick mono. Okay, so we're creating two mono tracks. Hit OK. There they are, tracks two and three. Let's just deselect the video because we're not using it. So now we have two, tra uh, three tracks, actually four tracks if you count stereo as two. One stereo track and two mono tracks. And as you can see with these mono tracks, you can pan them up the center. But this is what's been getting me. I, I did this. It was the obvious thing to do. So I, you know, erase that from the stereo track. And <clears throat> come over to my sound file and drag it onto the two tracks. But as you notice, it's not really going onto, the, onto two tracks. It's just one track. So if I let go and I play it. One, two. One, two, one, it's, two. It's a, it's a combination of both tracks, 
merged into one mono track. That's not what I want. I want separate control of both tracks. So I, I the longest time I'd go, what the heck is going on here? So what I did, I, I figured it out that uh, you go to preferences, audio, and you go to stereo media and you change it to mono. And you go to the multi-channel mono media, um, <coughs> multi-channel mono media, and uh, check it to mono. That is the solution. But notice this. Once you have this, the stereo track is still in here. And if I put it in here, I go, wait a minute. I changed the preferences. Why isn't it doing it? Oh, I can I could put it on this track. One, two. And it's still a stereo track. If I bring it down to a mono track, one. It'll mono it out, but I still have no control over the two tracks. So I was blowing my mind. I close it. I bring it up. So the solution is, and this is the final piece of the puzzle, just to delete your original stereo track, re-import it. Now that these preferences were changed to these settings, and I re-imported it, notice, notice also what happened here. You can actually see the two audio channels that are on this selected track. So actually now I can just bring this over here, set it on the track, and bam, there we go. One, two, one. We have mono signal. It's two, coming out the middle now. Two, one. And if we want to, we can still pan them left or right in the audio track mixer window. One, two, one. It's so much better to have that control to be able to just, oh, and to center them, I usually just select it, hit zero, enter, zero, enter. Now we two or mono, but you know you can adjust the levels of the two channels now. So one two. If I want to one bring two, one down. One two one two one two or the one, opposite. One two one one. Yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, mystery solved. Uh, it was bugging me for a long time. I kept calling uh, tech support and. They gave me little bits and pieces of the clues. Uh, I didn't go. I went online a couple times, but it was that last equation. The thing is, you have to delete it from your session and re-import it after you uh, change your preferences in your audio settings. So that's it. Uh, problem solved. Good luck.